It was a big job, moving a big house down a big hill, eventually to a barge on a big lake. The movers had to move this 50-ton home, the Fuller home, about 1,000 feet to the water. The first 940 feet moved without a hitch, then a tire blew, and the movers noticed they were about two inches from the edge of their makeshift road. They had to chip away at the side of a hill to allow the house to be turned so it could be brought onto the barge. The last 60 feet took more than three hours, and finally, success. Were the movers worried? Were their palms sweaty? Their hearts beating busily? Not a bit. Piece of cake. So everything's going pretty well. So the 92-year-old Fuller home on land all that time now begins a three and a half mile journey by barge down Lake Erie in search of its new location in the Cleveland Metro Park. Taking videotape of all this, 71-year-old John Lawrence Fuller, who lived in this one-time summer home since he was a year old. He fondly remembers the tower room where he and his friends would play. That was a playroom. We had a big rocking horse up there, and we had a, an old Victrola with great old records, and that was a, really a, a kind of a favorite place. Out on the calm lake of vision, an old summer home floating softly like out of a gentle dream, and John Fuller remembering posing for a picture at a family gathering. And I'm at one end of the line, she's at the other end, there are four intermediate children, and I'm making moon eyes at that beautiful little two-year-old, and I was seven. <laughs> I never noticed her again until she was 14, but eventually I married her. A summer home floating on the lake? It's more than that to John Fuller. It's a place filled with gentle memories. In Cleveland, Alan DiPietro, TV5 Eyewitness News.